hello good morning i hope you can hear me um but just made it to the airport i'm so freaking excited we're going to paris it's gonna be great um i just made it through security it's about 10 o'clock so i've got two hours until the first plane boards um or takes off and so we're going to boston and we're gonna spend like Maybe three, four hours there. I don't mind it, that's fine. Lots of downtime. And then we're gonna go from Boston to Dublin, Ireland, and then from Ireland to Paris. And so um, today's the fifth, and so I'll get there tomorrow morning. Hi. So that's gonna hey, be- hi, Mary. <laughs> yes, looking good, I see you. I made it, I'm talking to Mary. I look like a crazy person because I'm holding up two two things, but it's okay. It's okay. It's for the culture. I made it to Paris so that's great I am happy about that I'm safe and sound I'm just shook like shook ain't even the word I I'm here at the hotel and I get in and the lights they're not working I I, I can't figure it out but I just I have to use the bathroom so I'm using the bathroom in the dark um so I finally get out and I'm like okay flipping all the switch there's this fuse box like what what okay cool and I'm flipping switches and everything nothing's working and so I'm trying to figure out like okay let me at least get connected to the Wi-Fi hopefully it'll still work so I'm looking here at you know all these instructions on the door and I can't freaking find this Wi-Fi code. I'm just, I, it's not working. Nothing's going, nothing's going right. Excuse me, I'm, I'm just really, really flustered. So, I'm trying not to panic and, you know, run downstairs like the American tourist that I am. So, I use what they gave me. Luckily, it had the right Wi-Fi information on here so I was like thank you God it connected everything was fine and so I was trying to look up like French hotel room circuit box thingy whatever and it just I was too messed up so I was like you know what I'm just gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna use the phone that they have here and you know in American hotels they have you know a bigger phone it's fine I'm in a whole nother country but I go to open it up and I'm like none of this says front desk none of this says help so I don't know what to do <laughs> going back over to the door and I'm giving you a whole room tour without even like doing it but and it says you know dial nine and I'm just like okay I'm gonna do it but then I look over here and I think this is a slot. I thought it was a button before, something you pull out. And so I was like, let me use my room key to do it. And the room key is what powers the room. I, it's freaking brilliant. But the thing is, if I guess you don't leave it in there, it's gonna go off eventually. At least that's what it did exactly. Wow, wow. What? 
All right, y'all. So now that I've had time to calm down, get adjusted, I love this room. I, I can't even lie to you. So we've got this mirror, nice full length, right when you walk in the door. And here's just an overview. Here's the amazing power mechanism from before. Um, just got a little autumn in there. This is supposed to be the heating and cooling unit. I'm gonna just leave it alone. The temperature in here feels great. And here's a nice big bed. I've already made myself comfortable here with my snacks at the desk and the chair. Um, here is a nice TV so I can watch French television. Here's the phone, little trash can. I've moved in because I'm here to stay. Here is my lovely view. It's got all the little kids practicing soccer. I love it. Got the highway. Nice city view. And now let's get into this bathroom. Everything is so clean and just elegant, like simple shower situation, toilet, sink, mirror, and this is a hair dryer. I don't need it, but it's like I've never seen anything like this. I love it. And I am so glad that I brought my adapter because this, I literally thought of this like a week ago to get one so I got one off of Amazon and I've got it plugged in over here so yep that is the full room tour um I, tonight is definitely just gonna be a chill bonjour and bienvenue to another vlog so right now would be me <laughs> there we go there's my lovely Paris morning and these kids are at it again they really care about their soccer I'm so proud of y'all I'm um, gonna eat gonna head out and take on the day hopefully I'll have time to grab my Paris pass first and then go to the opening and then after that I can just go ahead and go to whatever attractions I want to. So um, right now we're gonna go get breakfast, so I'm excited. Open the elevator, just left breakfast. Stole me a doggy bag. That stuff is so delicious, but it was real quiet and they didn't have any to-go plates, so. down the road it's only like a block away and got a seven up and I got a cheese pizza because everything else I couldn't read and it also seemed spicy because uh, I found out that it's not like a French pizzeria it's not even Italian it's actually Spanish based so they 
moved from Spain to Paris in order to open up their shop, so it's really nice. Um, they were really sweet, really kind, funny people. Um, and this is amazing. <laughs> like, everything here is so fresh and just so delicious. And he made it right, right in front of me, too. I saw him, you know, kneading the dough and just sprinkling the cheese and just putting it in the oven. It was amazing. Mmm. I bet this 7-Up even tastes different. Yup. Even tastes different. Well, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Got some water. And I also have a little brownie for dessert that I picked up in the Dublin airport. So I'm excited. Gonna enjoy myself. Yeah, today I was just walking around, um, not doing much. I was getting used to the metro. And um, but tomorrow, since I have my Paris pass, I'm gonna just do whole nine yards, you know, go around, uh, see the tower. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to see the Louvre tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't want to do too much because I also have a wine tasting at 2.30. Got to be on time for that. And, um, yeah, whatever else I can get. Yeah. go through the whole loop I guarantee you it's just been amazing we reached the art but do you see this people are in the middle of the street trying to get a picture of this beautiful structure like it's gorgeous uh, I wish this would pick up do you see that freaking detail it's massive Oh my gosh. But I guarantee you they're safe. These French drivers, like they may be crazy, but they are so accurate. I I, I wish I would have got my license here. I would be a better driver by far. We have arrived. About to head to the wine tasting at Le Caves de Louvre. I totally butchered that, but it's all good. vlogging, walking down steps, and sipping on wine, but that's what happens. <laughs> I'm sure you want me to be in it. Like that one girl, yeah, I remember her. <laughs> It's so cute. They have a little interactive game. You shake the cork. Well, I'm already cheating. Um, you shake it and then you smell it. 
this is right I feel like it's down the other way because I was like oh I see tables and chairs wait no <laughs> nothing nothing new just getting lost in Paris looking for wine okay. that's that's the theme of this trip <laughs> what a closet. all right this is so cool oh, here they are. Like down here yep Bonjour. Bonjour. Watch out for these steps. Vlogging and walking. <laughs> That's just what we doing. <laughs> you release the cage. Okay. You release the cage, but you keep it. You don't take it out. Oh, what? You don't take that off. I don't keep the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are way late. I've been recording this last five seconds. I don't, I don't keep the bottle this way because if I keep the bottle this way, all the pressure will be directly on the cork. I'm gonna do it on the side because the pressure will be in the center of the bottle, so I can have less pressure. I'm gonna hold the cork part, but I don't turn it. I turn the bottle. I turn the bottle so I can feel it coming slowly. And I don't want a big pop. Big pop, yeah, it's festive. <laughs> you lose all the bubbles. If you lose the bubbles, you lose the pressure of the champagne. Oh. So I want just a tiny little. Oh. Wow. Brilliant. <laughs> no, I'm always like, oh, okay. I think we all are. <laughs> so, to party, champagne. so what you do, you take a bottle, you know, just to pop it out, and you keep the other one to fit. How to <laughs> properly open. Yes, sorry. <laughs> oh, to me? Filming, yeah, I've not heard of filming. Yeah, it's filming already? Oh. Réseau ici du bateau audio guide JMO. Oh. Oh. 
Le commentaire débutera après le deuxième pont, le pont de l'Allemagne, le pont vert. Tout l'équipage vous souhaite une très agréable plaisir. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome and welcome to the Parisian Dance Tournament to the school of 2020. Hey y'all, this is future Ashley here. Um, so I just got done going through all the footage from Paris. And uh, this clip here is just to explain kind of what happened after the clip you just saw with the Eiffel Tower and the, all the lights. So um, that was Saturday night and... Um, it was late and so I was coming back on the metro and I got robbed basically um, being a solo female traveler there are things that you have to look out for um, obviously Paris is known for being a huge tourist attraction it's a beautiful city so that also means that you are susceptible to being pickpocketed unfortunately um even the steps that i took i wore like several layers and i had you know things in different pockets and stuff um i was seen by someone i i guess who saw me put my wallet inside my bra and i had gotten to the metro and i got surrounded by five guys and they basically like yelled at me and distracted me and roughed me around so um in all that chaos they were able to take my wallet um and but other than that you know that that was it I was able to cancel my card so like they didn't take any money from me but it was still like really scary um so yeah I didn't vlog really after that because I was just so shook up but I um I'm okay. It happened. It was unfortunate, but it does not take away the amazing time that I had. Obviously, you could see I went to the cave winery. Um, I had a professional photographer take me around the Eiffel Tower and do different things and um, just all sorts of stuff. You know, they can't take away that experience. I'm definitely going back to Paris. It is a beautiful city. The food was amazing. It was still a wonderful time. It was just unfortunate that, you know, I was in that situation. But I did want to put this in here and let you know that it happened, but it's okay. Like, I'm okay. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I don't want to go too much into it because I also don't want to make this video a, a sad story because it's really not. It was, it's a once in a lifetime trip that I took and I don't regret it. I had the time of my life and it was amazing. So um, yeah, there's the last clip is just of the next day where I was um, still shook up, but I had booked a um, cooking class to make macaroons. So I did it, I went out made my macaroons they were delicious and again it's I'll worth be it. all over that yeah yeah she's been talking about this class since we booked this trip <laughs> <laughs> nice you think i would have said extra yeah. ones so what next to our raspberry because you didn't like raspberry but now you have to take your raspberry <laughs> i love it <laughs> 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 <laughs>